The Tribeca Film Festival right around the corner and there will be plenty of A-listers in attendance. I recently sat down with the co-founders Robert De Niro, Jane Rosenthal to find out what we can expect this year. So I feel like every time Tribeca has a film festival, there's something that you're kind of bringing the city back to life with. Jane, you want to talk a little bit about, well, the last few years putting on a film festival, and is this year a little different? Um, this year we're back to normal. Uh, we were in 2020, we actually had to go digital, so that was what happened to a lot of film festivals. Last year we were the first film festival that was in person, and we did a lot of outdoor screenings all over the city, but we got to end the festival opening up Radio City Music Hall uh, with Dave Chappelle, and that was uh, really, you know, with a fully vaccinated audience. This year we're back to our regular footprint, um, also having a lot of outdoor free screenings and it's going to be great people are ready to party i know i noticed that so mr de niro you oh, and al pacino are yes. back together yes, yes so what will you two be doing just uh, talking about this and that and Wait, I, I, I have to ask some things. Because How are I, you? Good to see you. <laughs> are you talking to me? That kind no, of thing. That wasn't that film, that, yeah. yeah, but um, is it true that you actually brought the script to Al Pacino? Which? Uh, Heat. No, Art Linson, is, uh, who's a friend of mine, old friend, um, he brought the script to me and said he had given it to Al, the way I understand it, with uh, maybe somehow Michael Mann was in there, and Michael, obviously, uh, he, he, he had, it was his script, so he, uh, that's how it went. It didn't, it wasn't like I did. I, with uh, the Irishman, I, I, Marty and I, I, Pushed all that. So you pushed Al Pacino for the. That push. I just said, how about Al for playing Jimmy Hoffman? That's so nice. I mean, you know, da, because da, you know, da, da, da. I don't know why people want to make a big deal. Like uh, maybe they didn't get along, but there was that dinner scene in Heat where they said, yeah. "Oh, that you and Al Pacino had to have the same amount of lines." No, that's all nonsense. We had not. We we just did the scene. It's one of my favorite scenes. Favorite written scenes so I was looking forward to shooting it the one thing during in that is that we were somehow found ourselves it was a night thing and we we were rehearsing rehearsing and it got to like midnight or one that we would shoot the thing and I was I was saying we should have shot this like earlier because it's a, a, a wonderful scene and we got to have a little more energy doing it though it was fine we, we did it but no there's none, none of that stuff I don't know where all that stuff comes from do you have a favorite line from that that movie I do, but I can't remember. There are some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I have the same problem. Um, so J-Lo also has a documentary. It's it's the opening film, right? Opening film, Halftime, United Palace Theater. What are we going to learn about J-Lo that we don't already know? Her perseverance, um, her real passion for making sure that uh, all kids uh, have uh, have uh, equal education, her equal pay, her uh, really uh, pushing on certain political issues. I was not really aware of how political she really is. Uh, and also just her perseverance to constantly better herself as an artist. Uh, it wasn't the story of J-Lo that I thought I knew from just reading articles and seeing clips on E. So it really that. goes deep. Yeah, it's really terrific. About this very specific time when she was doing uh, halftime at the NFL. Oh, and Taylor Swift, I hear, is one of the people doing Q&As with uh, other people. She's very popular. Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm doing the interview. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Are you? No. Are you working on anything else? I know that you opening this big film studio with your son, Raphael, who I talk to every now and then. Uh -huh. We're friends. I'm oh, like, yeah, you know, that's yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, when will we see this studio? Yeah, that's a couple of years from now. But that must be nice to be working it, with It is. It's a great project, and, and uh, I'm hoping for the best, and Jane's involved with it, too. So. Anyway, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Film Thank you good to Thank see you. you. So the Tribeca Film Festival runs through Sunday, June 19th. Get your tickets.